Uh, like I say, people, it's those little things throughout my life that, uh, that give me joy. The moon this morning is so beautiful. Um, I went in this morning to help a friend who wasn't feeling well, and uh, she lifts me up every day. Um, just her quiet way literally can uh, make this hurricane calm down. So it's Sunday and my day off and um, well I went in to make biscuits but it that's not you know but so I intend to soak in this full moon in bloom. Do you understand? And um, try to stop my erratic thoughts. Fall is always such a hard time for so many people. And um, I know that I will continue to always fight fall <laughs> just because my days grow shorter in those nights. But uh, let me get on with my recording. Saving grace is all I can mutter to say. This full moon in bloom opens my eyes and makes me realize no matter the effort that you put into something, sometimes it's just not in the cards, nor the stars. But then as you peel back layer after layer, you start to see the little things mean the world to the people around you. Those people who hold your hand when your off days are becoming your very end. It's those days where it feels like you're either going to sink or swim. Somehow, some way, they make it okay. It's that burden on your shoulders that it feels so heavy at times. Cloaked between the urge to scream or the urge to run. Or load the chamber of a gun. This is the truth of what loneliness can do. I speak the truth. The process of being oneself is opening the doors to a place most people don't want to go. As we, as we do, we start to see a lot of doom and gloom. We also see the illusions that our minds seem to feed. It is a scary place indeed. But when you open your soul to the people you meet, give them a little insight on your life and they don't run. Hmm. My friends, they listen and understand. I think a healing starts to set in. Everyone fights a battle in their soul. Broken promises and bitter ends is just life's way of saying it wasn't meant to be. But this isn't always the way your life will play out. Sometimes you have to be handed life's biggest blow to discover who is beside you and who you really are. You have to crawl, bloody and worn, battle scars to prove your worth. If you could only see what I see as I stare into this mirror of uncertainty. Every day is a new chance to give it all you had and you never know what that day will bring. Maybe a new outlook into those nightmares that we seem to feed. A power supply of something to ignite you. I cannot claim to be the street corner preacher if I cannot rise off my knees and try today or tomorrow. It just wouldn't be me. I have to chase away all those boogeymen that wish to invade my space. Because Mother Moon and Father God have a plan designed for everyone. And Lord knows the stress and anxiety I have been fighting against. So I think that they are showing me the signs of how to clear my mind. They give me ways to help with my lonely days. They give me insight into my life. A saving grace on my bad days. I just have to look around. They show me. As I said, it is in the little things I say thank you. I needed to be needed. I 
I need to feel that I help someone get through as they help me see that in the small gestures we receive throughout this life's journey, it mends our hearts in a way, a way that I'm not sure that I can explain. So with all this chaos that has consumed me throughout this crazy and hectic week and month, I give thanks. I give a hallelujah, an amen, a blessed be, whatever else that you need. I am blessed to be the street corner preacher preaching away my rhymes and riddles to all these people that I meet. To feel like the words I say hold more value than I ever thought they would. To be able to hold on to the hope that brings me across troubled seas. And to everyone who takes the time to listen to me. Now, I'm off to make and shake the dust from these old bones and bake some biscuits and take care of a friend who needs me as much as I need her. As I said, a saving grace is just what I needed to get me through today. Blessed be, everyone, and have a beautiful Sunday. And what do I always tell you? Always remember to breathe.